Hello students, this is Teacher Garner once again. Today we have a new topic. It's called Electricity Can Be Dangerous. But before we continue with our lesson, we are going to watch a video. Let's get started. Stay safe together. Hey there. No, oops. no, 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 down here. <laughs> Shocked? Don't be. I'm just the outlet you need to turn on the lights, watch TV, charge your phone, even play games on the computer. They all run through me with electricity. But I'm here to tell you that electricity can run through a lot of other things too because it's always trying to get to the ground as fast as possible. So it'll travel through conductors like metal, water, wood. Electricity can even travel through you too. That's why you've got to play it safe and sound when electricity's around. So come on, C come in. In there? Sure. Let's explore my top five that can keep you alive. Let's see. Hmm. Why don't we start with... How about number one? Number one? <laughs> That's a good place to begin. It's simple. Never, ever, ever stick metal objects into an outlet or anything running on electricity, like a computer, a game, or especially an old kitchen appliance, like a toaster. Yeah, I like to eat toast, but I don't want to be toast. Okay, number two. Don't put too many plugs into one outlet. There's a reason why each outlet only has two plug-ins. Using any more than two could spit sparks and start a fire. So, if I need to plug in more, I'll always use a power strip. Three, water mixes with a lot of things. But water and electricity, oh, they don't mix. They never have, they never will. So to avoid a really shocking accident, that means no hair dryers, no foam, or game chargers, nothing plugged in near a tub or sink full of water. Play it so safe that you never even touch an electric switch when you're wet. And hey, that means no radios near the pool either. Number four is so easy you won't even have to look it up. Just look up. Oh, you mean stay away from power lines. Especially during thunderstorms. Strong storms and wind can damage power lines. And if you see that happen, wow, get back. And I'll get to a phone and call OGD as fast as I can. The same goes for power lines damaged in a car accident. That means steer clear. And if you're in a car and power lines are touching it, don't get out. You're actually safe in the car. But if you do need to get out, jump as far as you can without touching the car and the ground at the same time. Just remember, sagging power lines or lines knocked to the ground are dangerous, even if they're not sparking, dancing, or making a crackling sound. But good power lines can be a danger too. So remember, don't climb power line poles or trees near a power line. Because if one tiny little leaf touches the power line... <laughs> Number five, it says to stay away from transformers and substations. You know, transformers, they aren't robots. They're those little green boxes that you see around your neighborhood. And they carry enough power to light up your neighborhood. And they can light you up too. So if you see one that's unlocked, don't touch it. Tell your mom and dad to call OG and E. And same goes for those big substations. They're so powerful, they gotta have a big fence around them to keep people out. In fact, best to stay away from anything with a sign like this on it. So that's the thought that'll keep you alive. Never put metal objects into outlets or appliances. Don't plug too much stuff into one outlet. Never mix water and electricity. Stay away from power lines. And always stay away from transformers and substations. We've got more facts and fun at OGE.com. So come hang out at Pluggy's Outlet. You'll even find out how to make your home greener and about alternate energy sources that'll power your world in the 2020 and beyond. So, whether you're outside, inside, or upside down, let's handle electricity with care. And let's, let's all stay safe together. So, what was the video all about? That's right. It's all about keeping safe from electricity. Now, before we continue with our topic, 
we have some words to learn. First, vaults. Again, vaults. Let's spell vaults. V O L T S. Vaults. Next word, shock. Again, shock. Let's spell shock. S H O C K. Shock. Last word, dangerous. Again, dangerous. Let's spell dangerous. D A N G E R O U S. Dangerous. Now let's continue to our topic. Electricity can be dangerous. That's right. From the previous lesson, we learned that these appliances use electricity to work. But the more you use electricity, the more money we must pay for the bill. That's why we need to save electricity. But do you know, do you know that electricity is dangerous? Yes. Electricity from the mains is 220 volts. That is so powerful. That's high enough to kill people if it flows through their bodies. Ooh, that's scary. We call it an electric shock. There you are. Okay, that is called an electric shock. Remember that the mains electricity is much more powerful than a battery. That's right. Then, an electric shock from a wall socket could kill you. There you are. So that's why you have to be very careful with electricity. You need to be careful using electricity. You always have to follow the safety rules in your everyday life. You need to know the difference between electricity from the mains and electricity from the batteries. Okay, now let's do some review. First one, always remember that electricity is dangerous. Again, electricity is dangerous. Next, electricity from the mains is 220 volts. Electricity from the mains is 220 volts. Next, an electric shock from a wall could kill you. An electric shock from a wall could kill you. The last one, electricity from the mains is much more powerful than a battery. Uh, electricity from the mains is much more powerful than a battery. Do you remember all of it? Let's review once again. Always remember that electricity is dangerous and that electricity from the mains is 220 volts. Always remember those facts. An electric shock from a wall could kill you. That's right. Electricity from the mains is much more powerful than a battery. Okay, for our activity, you need to get your notebooks and write down the date today. Okay, don't forget to write down the date today. Okay, and you have to answer the following questions by writing down true or false. Okay, that easy. All you have to do is write down true or false. Let's start with number one. Electricity is not dangerous. Is it true or false?
Number two, electricity from the mains is 220 volts. Electricity from the mains is 220 volts. True or false? And lastly, the electricity from the batteries is much more powerful than the mains electricity. Again, the electricity from the batteries is much more powerful than the mains electricity. Is it true or false? Did you get all the correct answers? Good luck! That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.